to you um, about teaching and give you some information on that. Um, at DoSomething.org, I found this pretty awesome fact. Teacher quality is one of the most significant factors related to student um, achievement. In the U.S., 14% of new teachers resign by their first year. 33% of teachers resign in the, by the, in the first three years, and almost 50% leave by their fifth year. Um, in my speech, I'm gonna to talk to you about my motivations towards teaching, uh, how my personality fits the job, um, some important information like educational requirements, job outlook, and opportunities, and then I'm going to tell you about the time and money that I have to put in in order to get to my goal. Motivations for my career choice and personality and intelligence. I'm gifted with imagination and insight. I have um, imagination, which means I have an open mind, and insight, which means I'm very understanding. And I think those are two important qualities for a teacher. I also have um, very good listening skills. Reasons to become a teacher. Um, you can move around anywhere and always find a job. Um, you can change someone's life, give back to the community, and move up by becoming, by working in like administrations or becoming a principal. Um, I put this picture in. It says, teachers plant seeds of knowledge that grow forever. I thought that was cute. Some important information. Educational requirements. You need a bachelor's degree at bare minimum, a master's or doctoral, or doctorate's degree, for a college professor. Um, and according to, the, to Orange County, you have to pass a Florida teacher's certification exam. Job outlook. According to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, the job outlook for a tenure rate is about 17%. That's pretty decent because for most or some other occupations, the growth rate is about 14%. So it's not that good, but it's not bad. Some opportunities, you can move out, move up with administration, department heads, um, or even become a principal, and I found that at destinationteaching.org. My plan on taking on the challenge. Time, right now I am at Valencia, this is my first year, and I plan on staying here for two years, getting my gen ed, and then going to um, UNF and getting a bachelor's, which is two years, and then after that, a master's, which is three years or plus, and then a doctorate degree, which is six years, and you need a doctorate or a master's to become a college professor. Um, at the University of South Florida website, for um, a graduate student, the cost of full-time tuition, fees, housing, books, supplies, and everything was around, was about 20, $20,710, $20, which is a lot, but I think it'll be worth it. Um, on the University of North Florida website for interpreting training for my master's degree, it cost $591.97 per credit hour, and um, it's around three credit hours per class, so that's $1,700 for one class, which is quite a bit. And then a total registration fee is $537.01. Uh, my goal is to finish my general eds here, go to USF and get my bachelor's, and then go to finish at UNF and get my master's and become a teacher. In conclusion, my personality and intelligence fits well as a teacher. I'm insightful, imaginative, and a good listener. Uh, reasons for teaching is I would love to travel, change lives, give back, and move up in my career. Educational requirements, a bachelor's degree, a master's or doctorate for becoming a professor. Uh, my, the job outlook is tenure rate, of a tenure rate is 17%, and opportunities is always is to move up. Lastly, time and money equals becoming a teacher. Uh, I found this fact at DegreeSearch.org. Earn three times more with a degree. The average annual earning of workers age 18 and over with an advanced degree is 74000 
This compares with 51,000 a year for those with bachelor degrees and 27,000 for those with high school diploma. Um, and only 18 for those without a high school diploma. So yeah, schools in Florida. Thank you very much. <laughs> 522. 522.